Hi, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're talking about this little guy, the Wilcox Radex. I want to thank Fox Arm Movement for sending it over to us so we could get a review out to you guys. If you're not familiar with them, check them out on Instagram and Facebook at Fox Arm Movement. And I'll post a link to their website down in the description. They sell firearms, suppressors, ammunition, thermals, MBGs, and MBG accessories. They have good customer service, great prices, and they have ammunition in stock as of uploading this video. So check them out. Diving into the RAID X, what is this little guy? It is a class 3 BIR laser illuminator. RAID stands for Ruggedized Aiming Illumination Device. Most people watching this video are familiar with Wilcox, but if you're not, Wilcox is more known for their MVG mounts and other things they sell, but they're not really known as well for IR lasers. They started making IR lasers in the mid 90s, I believe and they are used in soft units in different agencies throughout the country. Big Army doesn't use them, they still use PEC 15s. The direct competitors for this, which there's not a lot right now, is only the B. E. Myers Mall DA and the NGAO, mainly because this uses Vixel technology, which those other two do as well. All the older lasers or other companies are still using edge emitting lasers, and this is the future of IR lasers and illumination. The Raid X comes in two colors. You get black or tan. You can get red visible laser, green visible laser, the green being slightly uh, more high power laser. Um, it comes in a small, lightweight package with great ergonomic controls on it. I think this thing weighs 5.5 ounces with one CR123 battery and I can't really remember if that's right. I'll post on the screen if I'm wrong. There is a couple features on it that I really don't care for compared to the mall. The mall has some better features towards the fire button and a couple other things, but not enough for me to choose the mall over this. And what I'm talking about there mainly is the fire button. The fire button is on the back right corner. It's very easy to get to, but it feels kind of unnatural for a right-handed shooter with a C grip, unless you have real large hands reaching all the way around the device and hitting the fire button. Very easy to do. It just kind of feels a little unnatural. Most people are probably going to run a pressure switch if you're running a visible light on it, so it's not going to matter. The mall is a lot easier and you can go left or right handed and the fire buttons just sit right on top of the Picatinny rail instead of you know, an inch above the Picatinny rail. The other thing is when switching from a long range to short range illuminator, if you're going to transition from CQB indoors to outside, the mall you just flick a switch and it goes back and forth. This you have to press a smaller button. It's still easy, but it would be a lot easier on the mall a lot quicker. This comes with an OLED display on the back. That's one thing that the other units don't offer. I think the mall has just a little light on the back. And this has a very small screen, but it's very easy to see, and only you can see it because it's faced back at you. It shows you everything from battery power, what mode you're in, if the laser is firing, and you can also go into the menu and adjust a lot of things on this. You can adjust the output of the lasers in the illuminator. The high power laser has a 1 to 30. It's defaulted at 25. You can dial it all the way through, and the visible laser is 1 through 5, defaulted at 5. You can also go into a shot counter that will show you events and how many shots has been fired through this. And that's more for your unit armor, whoever's taking care of this, if you're sending it back for warranty work or it gets broke, to see how this thing's been used, how many shots have been fired through it for preventative maintenance in the future. It comes with, I believe, four to eight hours of battery life. Now, like with all the other IR lasers, if you turn it to the on position, but you're not firing it, it is still taking battery power away from you. Mainly on this one because the little OLED display, because the display is so small though, it's not really pulling that much juice. So four to eight hours of constant use is pretty good for one CR123 battery and nobody's gonna be holding this thing on for four to eight hours. So this battery will last you quite a bit. I've had the same battery in it since I've had this for about a month and I haven't had any issues, it's still full battery power. Anyway, enough of me talking, let's go ahead and dive in and see what comes in the package when you buy this. So the Radex comes in a nice pouch, Molly attachment on the back. I find that after you weapons mount your laser, this is a real good pouch for a set of goggles if you want to throw goggles on a kit or a belt. Hook and loop on the front for a patch, does not come with one, I just threw a Fox Armament patch on here. Front zipper pocket comes with a Surefire pressure switch and this is a dual switch if you have a surefire flashlight 
and you can hook it up to the laser picatinny mounted just a typical surefire pressure switch main compartment unzips nice large compartment comes with a weapons cleaning brush the laser itself the back pocket has all your paperwork inside you have a cleaning cloth comes with a hex key to take out the blue high power lockout screw little instruction manual for your surefire remote switch a quick reference guide with nice color pictures for those of us that don't like to read in your operator's manual all right next we'll show you all the modes I want to apologize now for the quality of the video I'm about to give you under night vision. So I don't have anybody to help me with this and I don't have a good way to film through night vision. I was holding an iPhone up against my goggles. I apologize for using green and not white phosphorus, but unfortunately I don't have white phosphorus right now. So I did as best as I could for you guys. You'll get the gist of it. I was shooting at hundred yards on all this video just to give you a reference of how the laser looks and the illuminator up against the trees that I use for a backdrop. So all the modes are clearly labeled around the selection knob. You've got off at the nine o'clock, a line showing IR up, viz down. One click down, you've got low power aiming laser. Two clicks down, you've got high power laser. Going back to the off position, one click up is low power IR laser. Two clicks is low power IR illuminator, which can once again be set to short or long just by pressing and holding the center selection button and then you can dial it in to dial your style of flood if you have it on long range Third click is dual low power IR laser and illuminator. With the blue lockout screw removed, you can go to high power IR laser. Second click high power IR illuminator. And the last selection is dual high power laser and illuminator. All right, one thing I did not mention that I thought I would, the DA uses, the mall DA uses an offset laser. This is right above the bore. When you open your little safety cover, the only issue that that could come to is if you have a fixed front sight post. If you have a fixed front sight post, you can mount this to the three or nine. That is completely okay, but you won't be able to mount it up top. With flip up sights, it works fine. It does get over the flip up sights when they're folded down, but those fixed front sight posts are gonna block this at the 12 o'clock. So overall, I think this is a great unit. I would take this any day over the Ngao or the Mall DA myself, mainly because of the small lightweight package and I really like the controls on this. So, if you're interested, check them out over at Foxo Armament. If they don't have them in stock, they can get them for you. The black is a little harder to come by, 
It was special order. Now they're not making it. I'm not really sure. I haven't tried to contact anybody at Wilcox about that, but I do know it is a lot harder to find the black unit. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please help support the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Hit the bell notification to get notified when we put out new content. And we'll see you on the next one.